Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Once again we are out in the lovely wilderness of Lancashire, the peaks, not entirely sure. I think it's the South Pennines. I'll have to look it up and I'll let you know. But uh, the weather today is amazing. It is a nice calm Saturday morning, bank holiday weekend at the end of May. So we are going up to Blackstone Edge from Hollingworth Lake and it looks like it's going to be great. So let's get walking, see what we can find. So this walk of ours up Blackstone Edge from Hollingworth Lake is a firm favourite purely because we've come past a farm which has a load of llamas in a field and they're so cute and stupid looking and we love them. And at the moment, as you can see behind me over there, in it's, uh, well, it's late May so it's just at the end of the bluebell season and these woodlands are full of bluebells and they are gorgeous. But anyway, we need to go up there through the woods uh, past the golf course and then onto what we think is an old Roman road. Uh, so let's carry on, see what we can find. Okay guys, we've come through the woods from Hollingworth Lake, across the golf course and up, past some houses, some power pylons and stuff, and now we're about to go on to the old Roman road which stretches up behind me over there. Uh, if it is actually Roman in origin, apparently nobody knows, but it's definitely agreed that it is an old pack horse trail. And eventually we're gonna go off up Blackstone Edge, which you can see behind me over there. So, without further ado, let's continue. <laughs> we've made it to the top of the Roman road we're about to go up onto Blackstone Edge but at the crossroads point there is this thing which apparently is called the Aegean Stone which was um, like a, a waystone for travellers to know that they were on the right path sort of thing which is really really cool apparently it dates back to medieval times which is yeah kind of nice it's basically just a little rock on the path saying yep you're on the right place Johnny keep on walking but for now we need to go behind me to Blackstone Edge over there and find the trig point, bag it, and see what other views we can get from the top. There is a bit of a massive black cloud overhead, but it's still really warm and muggy, and there are so many flies, because I think it's fly breeding season or something. But anyway, we shall carry on. Okay guys, we've made it up onto the top of Blackstone Edge. I've just touched the trig. 
bagged it. So um, we're gonna carry on down now. We need to kind of freestyle it across this random piece of open access land to the path just down there. We'll carry on around some small ponds and back down towards Hollingworth Lake and the car. Um, it's a little bit weird. There's a bunch of lads over there drinking beers at about half past 10 in the morning. I mean, each to their own, but it's not my game. So onwards, let's see what we can find. Okay guys, so we've come on down from Blackstone Edge. We managed to find the path and get across our little bit of open access land and we're making our way back towards Hollingworth Lake, which you can see behind me there. It is a lovely day. The dark, ominous clouds have left us behind and you can even see some blue sky behind me over there. It is absolutely fantastic. And I have to say, this walk is very, very quiet. We've only in, it's bank holiday weekend, Saturday, about half past 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and we've encountered maybe 10 people, tops, on our, on our way across the, the fells, which is lovely. So we shall carry on down to the edge of Hollingworth Lake and back around to the car. So, let's see what else we can find. Okay guys, and we have come all the way down from Blackstone Edge and we are now just approaching the shores of Hollingworth Lake, which it looks absolutely lovely. There's some people out doing some boating and stuff, so that looks cool. Uh, it was a lovely walk, really peaceful up on uh, Blackstone Edge. Uh, you could hear loads of birds and everything. It's a walk, again, that's got everything. There's Hollingworth Lake, there's the edge of Blackstone, edge of Blackstone Edge, there's the woods and the golf course and little lanes and everything cute cafes and things all the way around Hollingworth Lake as well. This was walk number 25 in the Lancashire Outstanding Circular Walks book. Um, if you live in the northwest, so near Lancashire, I really consider getting that book. Like It's brilliant. There's loads of walks in there that you might not have considered before if you're really into walking. I'll put a link in the description down below. But if you liked it, please give us a like. If you want to subscribe to see more next week, smash the subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next week. Is good. Uh, it's a lovely walk. Absolutely, absolutely lovely. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a terrible phrase, David. What the? F uh